Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Isaac. Today we're checking out Playable Hush, which is a character I think has been in the works for quite some time, but I recently saw that it's fully released on Steam now, and it's a pretty interesting character. As we can see, Soul Hearts only, and we did get a little fly here, as well as soon. Yes, there you go, we'll see a Gaper. So this guy has lower stats, but he has a bunch of Hush-related minions. But then also the really interesting ability about this guy, as you can see there's a plus three on our keys here. That's basically our Hush keys, and we can get various different extra rooms as we play through floors that are uh, like hush rooms like like with that trinket i can't remember the trinket's name now it's not strange key it's, is it blue key is that what it's called um kind of similar to that and from those rooms we'll get oh that was a little unfortunate uh, from those rooms we'll be able to get upgrades for our minions which is pretty cool and i think we can get some other stuff as well but either way it's going to be pretty useful i mean you can see the flies and the um the little gapers there doing a pretty good job on their own already um, I don't know if the flies are the sim similar to regular blue flies. It's kind of hard to say because they, they actually are blue flies. Um, but I don't know if they're similar to regular blue flies in the damage or if they're higher. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm sure we'll figure out as we go along here. Now that's a, a very good place to bomb. Oh no, that's a bit annoying. That's a bit annoying. At least the soul heart's been revealed to us. But that bomb could have been much better used elsewhere. So far I like it. So we got ourselves another hush key here. And we also got this which is kind of nice. We'll probably use it in this large room over here, but we'll come back and try and bomb that if we can. Um, and we'll take a little peek in our shop, why not? See, this is why we're taking a peek into our shop. we got our first hush room here. And this one is going to lead into the ultra secret room, which I did not know was plausible with this character. This character just made its way up the list in terms of things I love. Um, fatty up. Does that mean we're going to get fatties rather than regular um, gapers now? Hmm, interesting. And we did get ourselves this, which is not a ultra secret room item, weirdly enough. Fly up, some flies are teeth. Ooh, so it's still related. Interesting. I'll come back and get those dice shards in a moment. I, I wasn't expecting it to be um, a, like, not a red item. I thought it was going to be a red item. So, yeah, uh, some flies have teeth and then fatty up. I don't know what fatty up meant. But it was a quality three item, so I'm hoping it's, it's something good. There you go. There, there's one of them. A minion intensity up, quality zero. Okay. So far, I'm very intrigued by all this. And I do wonder if I can use the glass D6s to re-roll the minion items into regular items. That'd be interesting to see. But I'm sticking with the, the minion theme right now. Dude, I'm so, so, so glad. I saved that. Also, have you seen the amount of these extra blue rooms we're getting? Also, cute baby. Blue. Dabba dee dabba die. Extra key there. Lovely. Oh, we get two. Is this a choice? Uh, all minion stat ups, minion damage and intensity. I don't know what intensity means. Oh, we get all three of these. Wow. Okay. Um, gaper up. Some gapers are jumpy. Oh, this is already getting so spicy. This is already getting so spicy. I have a feeling this character is going to be pretty strong. Um, just judging off of how our first floor is going so far, but... I like it, man. I mean, the, the hush is not exactly weak. Minion HP up. Very, very nice. We've g gained a lot of advantages so far. Right, let's go grab some of those dice shards. I maybe should have dice shard in that room with three of them, but I want to take as many of these abilities as I can. So far, I've literally just got blue items. There's, there's, there's him jumping around. <laughs> oh, look at him go. He's just super duper speedy. I wonder if there's anything that's going to increase the spawn rate of them. I got a sun card here. Um, I'm going to use this in the next room to find the thingy room. Secret room. There it is. And we'll just do our boss straight off the bat here. While we're next to it. I think our minions are going to take pretty good care of him, to be honest. They're not crazy overpowered, to be fair. They're not crazy overpowered. Not yet, but I can imagine they'll get there. I can imagine they'll get there. I really, really like this idea for a character. Just the extra rooms is something that I'm really, really into. I think that's really, really fun. And we get ourselves some deviled eggs. Don't mind that at all. Hey, there's a tooth fly look. There's one of the tooth flies. We like it. I'll bomb this for some extra cheddar. I don't know if I can buy any of these hush-based items in regular rooms, but uh, like in like shops and stuff, but we'll see. There's a potential. I should keep money on me just in case. It seems that three three followers is my limit right now. Ooh, I did get an item here. Touching an enemy charms it. Unfortunately, not a great item. But we did get another one of these rooms, which I wasn't expecting. We're all out of hush keys now. Which is a somewhat limiting factor for us here. 
Um, minion intensity. I still don't know what the minion intensity means. Is that just the amount I can have? That might just be the amount of them I can have. I don't know why that's quality 3. Touching enemy charms it. It's not even remotely a quality 3 level upgrade, I wouldn't say. It's just not very good. Right. We can grab this. Um, do we actually want that, though, is the question. I don't really care that much about it. I guess I could dice shard the shop and see if we get anything better at the same price. Unlikely, but give it a go. Why not? There you go. I'll take that. Thank you. Don't mind that. Right, we'll grab our other dice shard and we'll be on our way. But yeah, we've got a little army going. It seems that two flies and three boys are the most we can have. But as I said, the intensity might might be what uh, that means. So it might be that the as we increase the intensity, we can have more and more around us. Or there may just be another item that increases their limit. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we'll sort of suss it out as we go. We'll suss it out as we go. Let's just go down to the regular floor. Oh, I can pick up red hearts. Don't know why. I'm not quite sure what they're going to do for us, but we can pick up red hearts, which is interesting to note. Uh, I'm just going to pause one sec. Okay, let's keep this going and try and find more blue rooms, but we don't have the keys yet. I don't know if all of them cost keys, to be fair. I'm guessing most of them do. I don't know that for a fact yet. Oh, dude, they're doing a lot of damage. Hey, there's, there's one straight away. I like that. I wonder if there's an increase... Anywhere to increase our chance of getting those keys. I'd like as many as I can possibly get my grubby little hands on, please. There's another one of our rooms there. I think we had a really successful first floor, though. We got a few quality fours. Ooh, damn. God damn, we do hush noises when we get hit. That's uh, a little scary. I associate those noises with danger. Let's pop in here. I wonder if I can use regular keys, or if it has to be the blue hush keys. I'm imagining it has to be the blue hush keys, but I'm not entirely sure. Minion damage up. Kind of weird that some of these are quality zero. I don't actually know if the quality has much bearing on how good they are or not. Or if it's a bit more arbitrary. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Okay, through here we go. Another room here. So we can get we'll be able to test here if we can use regular keys or not. Like I said, I'm gonna guess not. Which is is kind of a good thing, I think, if that's the case. I mean I'd be I'll be happy if I can open with regular keys, but I think it makes more sense for you to not be able to. Right, let's go figure that out, shall we? Oh, I can. Okay. I can. Nice. It's better for me. I suppose you don't want to limit the character too much on luck. Minion HP up and intensity up. I don't think the intensity is to do with the spawn limits by the looks of it. Because I'm getting this. I've still got the same amount of, of either type. I'm thinking maybe intensity is just like how aggressive they are. They do seem very aggressive. Chill, chill. Teleports us to a black market. Black market's good, but black markets cost us quite a lot of soul hearts. And with that card, it's a black market you can't get out of. So we'd have to do it as the last thing we do on the floor. And it means we can't take the dice shard down there either, which makes it not super useful. Makes it not super useful. They are doing bits right now. They are doing bits. It's beautiful. Could be a slightly speedy run, boys. This could be a slightly speedy run. But yeah, I do like checking out characters like this on occasion. It is, it is always fun to see uh, see what creative things people are doing with existing ideas. Taking Hush and making it into a playable character. It's a pretty interesting idea. I like it. It's it's something a bit more unique. I tell you what. I tell you what. I, I am, although I'm enjoying this run, I am quite excited to finish recording because I've set myself up to where when I finish recording it'll be just about time for me to have my uh, my evening meal, my tea, um, as we call it in the UK, which is confusing for people that aren't from the UK because tea is tea, like the drink, but we also call our evening meal tea. Um, yeah, it, it just, it is what it is. Um, but anyways, I've set it up so that I finish this recording right about time when I'm ready for my tea and I'm already quite hungry and I've bought myself some steak. Another one of these ones again. Oh, hello. This isn't the room I was expecting. Oh, minion HP up. Thank you. I will take that. Thank you. This, oh, this is just the regular secret room. Okay. Strange. But yes, I'm, I'm very excited for that meal. I'll be honest. I'm very excited for that meal. It's going to be pretty good. It's like... um. 
Oh, I'm like trapped in here now. Uh, it's it's like steak with like a garlic crust, and I got some peppercorn sauce. Got some asparagus. I got some baby sweet corn. Oh man, I'm very much looking forward to it. It's gonna be very good. I've been trying my best to basically. I've been I've been dieting recently, uh, or trying to diet. And last week I had just a really really bad week. Um, Basically, my, my girlfriend's, I see, keep saying girlfriend, my fiance uh, is away at the moment. Uh, she's she's away with work. So I, um, I have been left to my own devices, which means eating way too much unhealthy food because I'm not supervised. I am like a child. Um, <laughs> uh, and I ate a lot of takeaway. Uh, and so I've been trying to diet, so I'm getting back on it this week. And I'm managing to stick like under 1,200 calories today, which... Is to some people way too low, but for me, it's enough because I work from home. I don't need a ton of calories to sustain, and I'm happy with it. But that means I'm quite hungry at the moment, but it also means I get to have a pretty good meal that's only about 500 calories, and I'm pretty happy with it. Ooh, Squeezy's a very good one for us here. I will quickly peek into here and see what we got going on. That's a lot of pills and stuff. Do I want either of these? What is this book? Apply a random status effect to enemies in the room. Possible effects freeze, poison, slow, charm, confusion, Midas. Mm. It's a two room charge. I, I like the idea behind that. I like the idea behind that. Um, and I'll take the rest of these pills because I'm a fiend for pills sometimes. Not every time, but sometimes. Like say, we've still got this dice shard. I think I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Black market card, I apologize. You could have been so good to me, but I'll be moving on. But I like the idea of random status effects. It could be good. Let's keep this moving and grooving. I'm, I'm, I'm really intrigued to try this book. I think this book could be really good. Oh, hold up. I thought it applied the same status effect to every enemy in the room. It applies a random one to each enemy. That's intriguing. That's not what I expected. Go, my minions. I really like having Cube Baby here as well, because I'm our minions are kind of like sort of working alongside cute baby in a very nice way i like it yeah this is oh ooh, it's a flying one hello it's a flying one they fly now they fly now i knew there'd be a sneaky little hidden room back here no my flying guy is dead God damn, that guy survived a lot. Minion damage it up once again. Dude, the minion damage. I guess it's kind of good that I'm getting so much minion damage, though, because it's kind of scaling with the difficulty of the floor so that they don't become obsolete. Because that's one thing I was a little worried about, is, like, th this sort of stuff, uh, like, minion stuff can fall off pretty easily because they don't scale with your damage. But it's kind of a good thing right now because we don't have any damage ups. Oh, my God, that was a very, very good little throw there. I mean, Cares of Darkness is making it... A little harder than normal. I like the fact that a new one just spawns immediately after one dies. We just have a constant, beautiful supply. Which is good for situations like this where they get nuked. Did that guy jump from the ceiling? I think he did. Okay. Not going to do the boss yet. We've got plenty more to see on this floor. As of yet. But yeah, I'm really hoping that I can get some sort of item. It might be quality 4 one or something that can up my limit of familiars, of friends. That would be rather nice. I'll bomb this, try and get some health. Lovely stuff. Got to keep ourselves topped up. When only having soul heart health, it can make things a little more difficult. Really, really liking this. This book, being a two-room charge, seems very, very good. I mean, the stats effects don't last long, so that's probably why. But still, they're, they're very good. What are you? I've not seen you before, I don't think. I like the ones that can jump, I tell you that. I like the ones that can jump. Minion HP up. Good, good. So I suppose that the minion HP ups don't really matter all that much, I'll be honest, because... They just respawn straight away, so I don't really need them to survive. I guess it is helpful. It's still it's still nice to just not have to wait for them to respawn and retrack the enemy. But it's not all that valuable because, as I just said, they kind of just come straight back in and get straight back on their mission. It's not like there's a, there's a ton of waiting around between. Um, 
That, that's kind of tricky. I don't want to trigger the D8, especially if that's going to be a golden one because that's reflected. The D8 triggering could be good, but it could be abysmal. I, I, like, basically, the main thing I don't want is it just absolutely decimating my speed. Oh, wait. i got to check for doors. With the Curse of Darkness here, I can't see if there's doors on these walls. So I've got to actually get close and check them. <laughs> a little more cumbersome than it has to be. But it's fine. I like it. Fear and, like, bleed are really good effects to get. There's a door there, look. Curse of Darkness can barely see him. All minions up. All minions up. There you go. I knew there'd be something that increased our limit. I knew there'd be something around the corner. All minions up. Ooh, Rubik's Dice. On full charge, rerolls items. Each use randomly changes its charge bar. Can be used without a full charge, but will reroll into glitched items. This is interesting. Yeah, I'll stick with this. I'll stick with this. I know that I liked my book, but I think being able to reroll stuff is uh, is pretty good. But yeah, we now have a much, much higher amount of minions. We have, I think, plus an additional three by the looks of it, which is very, very nice. They are doing some good, good work. I knew there'd be another door around here somewhere. So one thing I do want to try is if we get like a, a bad um, a bad minion item here. Let's try re-rolling it and see what we get. Minion damage up. Yeah, I don't care about that too much. Okay, we can indeed. We get Gaper up. An additional Gaper. This is, this is very, very nice. So at the minute we're missing Fly up because we, we've only got two Flies at the minute. Oh no, we got three. We got three because we got an all minions up, didn't we? Okay. I wonder if there's any other minion types because we didn't originally have uh, the fatties. We, we gained the fatties. So I'm wondering what the other types will be. But I like the fact that it re-rolls them into other uh, minion-based items. But you can see now we have we have quite the army going on here. I, I I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I remember we have our dice shard to use here. I, I say that like you guys need to remember. I'm t I'm telling myself. I'm telling me that I need to remember. See, we don't, we don't even need. We got a stapler. Stapler's pretty goddamn good. Okay, let's keep it moving. We've, we've, we've managed to build up a pretty tight army here. I, I definitely would say I think this character would benefit from changing it to require the hush keys to open the doors. Because at the minute, like, if you get a good key run, like, you've just, you've just got so much to work with. Whereas the hush keys are a bit more of a limiting factor and it stops you from getting balling out of control. Balling out of control is fun, especially on a showcase video, but for everyday runs, you don't want that, I don't think. All minion stat ups, we like that. Burn orbitals. Pop in here as well. Oh, dude, we've got another one right there as well. We've got so many keys as well, this is great. Uh, fly up, there you go, baby. Fly up, we were looking for that. And minion damage and intensity up. Still don't really know what that does. Um, I'm going to dice that fatty up. There you go. Okay, we're going to have to... Do you know what? No, we don't have to now. We can open this up. Another fatty, baby. Another fatty. Boy, we, we have quite the army now. We have quite the army. I mean, our health isn't great at the minute, so I'm a little wary about that. But I think damage-wise, killing enemies-wise... These guys are going to do an absolutely fine job. Really don't want to spend my keys, but... Ooh, Molten Penny. Bit of money's good, but the Molten Penny for uh, smelting our trinket. Very, very rare, but very, very nice. Okay. Another Hush Key. I'm also surprised that every single hush room pairs out with a with a hush item. I thought it'd be like a chance. Or like harder rooms would pair out with better ones or something. But it is just like you do a room. You, there's a there's a guarantee you're going to get at least one hush item. But it seems like you could even get more. I will not contest. I mean, the game giveth, the game taketh away. I kind of have to take Tiny Planet on a run like this, don't I? I, mean, I do I do quite like Tiny Planet, but it's not the best for a run like this, really. Just just let them run and do their own thing. They'll find their way. 
they did indeed find their way. Ooh, we got one of these metallic hearts. Forget what these are called now, but nice to have. Magician here. Just makes things makes life a little easier. Probably should have used it for the boss, but what's done is done. There's another room here. But this floor's got a lot of hush rooms. We got a shop here? Uh, is this regular shop or is this going to be like a hush shop? I'm very much unsure. We haven't seen a hush shop yet. Minion damage up. Thank you. Ah, it's just, it's just a regular shop. Uh, Electric Dice, unfortunately, doesn't really do anything for us in this circumstance anyways, which is a bit of a shame because it's a really good item. I would like to take it, but there's just no point in multiple rerolls on something. Do not want our active to trigger multiple times. Uh, we should probably go back down to this. Oh, like, this is another good thing about this character. You're kind of forced to, to check every room because there's always that chance that you could find a hush room. And that, that could could yield you with some very nice results. Or you could find the boss room, which I wasn't expecting. Okay, back we go. We do have our, our charge ready on our Rubik's Cube dice. There's a few there's a few different mods that have Rubik's Cube dices that re-roll, right? There's a few different ones out there. I like the fact that we've got a few that can jump. Making life much easier for these ones. Ooh, dude. The fire. Wait, hold up. Okay, that can't hurt me. It looked like fire that could hurt me, so I was just making sure, because wasn't super down with that. But the fiery minions, ooh, we like those. You can see he's kind of got, like, that burnt texture to him. We did indeed get another room here. This is a rather long room. Ooh, we got a burn heart of this as well. Not bad, not bad. And we get another fatty. Oh, man. The fatties are very strong as well. <laughs> do not mind if I do. Right. Check that last room and we'll be out of here. I doubt this last room will have anything attached to it. Nah. We have to check, though. We have to check. Dude, by, by like, the end of this, by, by, like, the last few floors, I, I dread to think it's going to be absolutely chaotic i am very much looking forward to seeing that it's gonna be uh it's gonna be quite something i think um we will grab that soul heart we're kind of in dire need of extra hp i won't say dire need but uh, i'm in dire need i, I need it oh these are very very blue guess what i'm blue too i'm technically i'm your boss i'm higher up in management than you are give me that right to the next floor. Now, does the sun card show us our blue rooms? I doubt it. I don't think it did last time, but worth checking out. It does not. We can, however, get in here, which I think is right here. Very good, very nice. Oh, blue room off the back of this as well. Ooh, perfect reroll room. Give us steam sale. I will reroll it in a heartbeat. Yes, please. Oh, one up. Are you kidding me? One up's not what we're looking for at all. I mean, one up would be nice to just keep the run going, but I'm all about getting spicy. Minion intensity up once again. Still, minion intensity is eluding me. Like I said, the only thing I can think it could be is their aggression levels, but they seem just as aggressive as they always have been, so it's hard to say. They've always been aggressive fellas. Oh my god. Stop lobbing spiders at me from a distance. Another hush key. Don't know why I didn't bomb into my cash room there. That was kind of silly of me. Got too distracted by the steam sail re-rolling. More keys is very, very good. No hush rooms over here, though. I wonder if it's like a set amount per, per floor. <laughs> Sorry, I almost choked there. I wonder if it's a set amount per floor, or if it's different each time. Restocks the shop, replaces everything on sale with items. Um, increases the price of everything on sale. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting indeed. Maxed credit card. Oh, 
Oh, we got a few blue rooms off of here, but they're all looking to cost us. I don't care. I'm taking the risk. I've just gained a bunch of HP. Intensity again. Oh, wait. Did I, did I mess up here? Did I not need to go into this cash room? I don't think I did, did I? Minion stats. Beautiful. Yeah, I didn't need to go into that second one. Oh, well. Right. Reroll again. What the hell's this? Grants treasure room and shops in the womb, cathedral, and shul. That's pretty cool. Treasure room and shops in the womb, cathedral, and shul. I'm gonna take it. I think that's pretty cool. I also dropped me two cards, two different empresses, which I'm not particularly interested in, but thank you. Did Crown agreed? Minus one luck for a bunch of pennies. I think with this max out credit card, it makes sense, right? Good, good. This might be a slightly longer run than I was expecting, because now we're going to be searching most of the womb, and we want to for our hush rooms anyways, so it makes sense. But yeah, we have it. We are very much absent this run. We do have a room here. IBS is on sale. Minion HP up in intensity. Don't push me, please. I don't know if you can, but please don't try. Right, good amount of money here. I really want to get to that shop and see what's what with it. This maxed out credit card. Seems like it could give some pretty good stuff. What am I even looking for? I don't even know what shop items would be like really good for me right now. I'm not even too sure. Burnheart there, dude. My, my grim little buddy. Give me good stuff. I don't know why. Did that Burnheart just turn to a black heart? Where, where'd that Burnheart go? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, man. One thing I could really, really use right now, actually. A speed up. My low speed is, is, is making me sad. Low speed is, uh... It's gross and Isaac. Okay. Another Burnheart. So let's see. Burnheart. Burnheart's a black heart. Dude, that's great. I like that a lot. Okay, we've got a shop and item room here pretty much next to each other. Just a bunch of boot lickers. Crack the sky. Very good, but. Not quite what we're looking for, because it's an active item. Stars, remove our oldest. Um, spawn two. Ooh, okay. We can do that, we can do that. So, max out credit card. We get Diplopia off the back of this, which is a little, little bit of a shame, because we've not got the best stuff in here. But I think we... I think we... Grab that. We come back over here. We grab that. Back over here. Grab that. Then we get enough charge to re-roll that. Let's go do this first. I can't remember what our first um, our first item was now, but. I, I don't mind losing one of these. We've got plenty of them. Let's go to the secret room. Again, low speed making this an absolute chore, but let's see what we end up getting from the secret room. Because secret room, you've just got to, haven't you? You've just got to. It's, it's the only pool that's, like, rare. It was cute, baby. I think I might cry. Um... That seems pretty good. I think I genuinely might cry. Oh man, one second. Right, let's keep this baby moving. I can't believe I lost Cube Baby. I'm very upset at that. He was a true, true gentleman. And I tossed him away. Like yesterday's gem. Right, anyways. Anyways. 
Let's get our charges and re-roll that unfortunately rather meh shop. And see what we can get out of it. Hopefully something good. I mean, that, that, provided we can actually get a charge here. These, these all need to be combat rooms for us to get a charge. God, look at the amount of burn orbitals I have. <laughs> uh, Gr Grim Buddy is, is very strong. He's making us nearly invincible at the moment. Dude, no. They all need to be combat rooms. You've screwed this up royally. I guess I could reroll them all into glitched items, but from from what I've seen in the past, I think glitched items are broken on my save file, at least somewhat. They all seem to have the same effect, which is really weird. Yeah, we're literally one room off. We're one room off. That is truly, truly awful. Justice, give us a battery. Damn you. Ooh, this room could also have stuff in it too. Could have an en enemy in it, you never know. It didn't, but that's, this is good though. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, dude. Hold up. We have that item that prevents us ever getting any curses. And if it prevents a curse, we get a 1.5 times multiplier. This gives us a 1.6 time multiplier and guarantees a curse every floor. I am very intrigued to see how that works. I don't... I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do. I don't think there's any way I can, like, properly re-roll these. Oh, wait, no. I can do the boss trap room. I can do the bo uh, the mob trap room, even. That's fine. That's fine. Make our way back. I forgot I left that room. I'm kind of glad I did now. You watch, I'm going to re-roll, and it's still going to be terrible. But yeah, I don't know if anyone's had this issue, but, like, whenever I pick up a glitched item, it always, like, reduces my health to, like, three. Spawns a bunch of money and cards, and that's it. I don't really know why. There's our charge, at least. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely rinsing most enemy waves. Okay. Now, we don't have a ton of money to work with, so we should probably pick that up. IBS is six cent rather than seven, because we have member's card. Kind of, member's card's a weird item. Not member card, I can't remember what it's called. It's called like golden card or something. Gives you a golden heart and reduces like the cost of everything by just one. Which I don't think is a great discount, but eh. It works on top of Steam Sale, I think. Right. So is there anything in here we want? Um, any projectiles decrease the size when an enemy dies? Any... Okay, no, that's... Yeah, all of these are bad. Reroll all of them. Um, they all got rerolled cheaper, which is nice. We did get too many options, which I typically don't particularly like. Ceiling of the Stars is good. I don't know what this is. Little Inferno sets all enemies on fire, um, blow up all slot machines, beggars, enemy tears, and bombs in the room. Burning enemies explode on death. It's pretty cool. I think I'll take that. Oh, wait, buying an item reduces the price by one as well, I see. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, but yet another few actives here. I'm going to re-roll again here. Oh, I thought I could re-roll into glitched items with, zero, with like, zero charge, but apparently not. Either way, not bad. I'm not going to take the too many options thing, because, honestly, that item is not very good in my previous um, experience. I think I, I'm max health, because I, I couldn't grab that soul heart from what I could see. I mean, to be fair, there's a bunch of blue minions all over the screen all the time. And I by minions, I don't mean, like, the little yellow things. Please. <laughs> Not those minions. Yeah, we're already 34 minutes in, and we're only just getting to this floor, so... Pretty, pretty long run so far. We have shielded tears now, apparently? Oh, okay, that's from our, um, one of our Tealing with the Stars, Lemme and Wisps. That's cool. I shall take that. Right. I kind of forgot about the whole blue room thing for a while. I haven't been to a blue room in ages. It's our time to shine again. 
Now this guy could wreck our familiars. No worries, we got through that room pretty quick. Stars card, I'm just going to pop straight away. I will quickly just check to make sure there's not a blue room in here first, though. There isn't good. Because otherwise I end up forgetting about it. Bag of bobbies, it's more blue stuff. Gimme, gimme, and it's more just friends. Hell yes. I, yeah, I do wonder what the um, sort of ways of spawning blue rooms are. If there's any sort of logic to it. Well, there's, there's obviously some logic to it, but I wonder what that logic is, is what I mean. Um, take that heart. Oh, we got a devil room here. So that's a blue devil room. So, oh, interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Blue devil deal? Interesting. Let's re-roll these and see if we can get any good ones. We got fly. I'll take fly up because fly up's a pretty decent damage up, but the rest of them there aren't that great. Gaper up. Some gapers are flatulent. Nice, nice. We can re-roll these two again in the next room. After the next room, should I say? Nice. Our gapers now fart. We also just have the capability of having more gapers. Right. Let's re-roll these. All minion stats up times three. That sounds pretty good. All minion stats up times three. That seems like it could be kind of insane. Seems like one of the better items we can get. My shielded tears just saved me from an explosion there. That was rather nice of them. Dude, I really like this uh, this this dice where it, give, it just has a random charge each time. Sometimes you get really lucky, sometimes you don't. Ooh, we can get into the boss trap room through here. Not bad. Oh, dude, just HP. Come on now. See, we're getting a bunch of one room charge uh, D6s right now, which is insane. <laughs> Got a few really long charges there, but... Yeah, it's cool, because you can't really plan around it, but sometimes you get really lucky. I think that's a cool idea for an item. I'd like to see more active items with variable charges. I think it's an interesting thing to play around. Okie dokie. Got a good amount of blue rooms here as well. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, we've definitely reached, like, what is our sort of critical mass at this point, where our boys are just doing all the work for us. Ooh, weird. We got an error there, and it transformed into something it shouldn't have. A little bit strange. I'm curious why that was the case. Gape her up. Hell yes. We liketh the gaper up. We're actually doing decently on our own stats as well. Our stats are not too bad. Yeah, I can't believe we got Devil Deal into Ultra Secret Room on that. It's just, yeah, they're literally just like retextured red rooms. They, like, this should be just an item on its own. I love that. Like... Obviously, there'd be... It, you'd, it'd have to, like, come with the ability to spawn these gapers and stuff. I think that'd work. I think that'd work quite well. Still, unfortunately, haven't gained any speed up, uh, speed increases, which is a mighty, mighty shame. Also, I was planning on eating at, like, just gone five, and it's five to five right now, so... That ain't happening. I'm gonna have to stay hungry for a little bit longer. <laughs> it's okay. I've, I've I've been I've been sort of teaching myself and learning to deal with being hungry because I think one one of the problems for me I don't know if any of you guys have this that are maybe a little bit overweight like myself. Um, but uh, I I think one of the problems I have is uh, as soon as I get hungry I eat and I usually eat a little bit too much or sometimes a lot too much so I'm trying to train myself to stop eating when I'm done even if there's food left 
and trying to wait until I'm really hungry, until, like, I need food, rather than just, oop, I'm a bit peckish, I should eat. Um, I'm trying to wait until it's like, okay, I had food last at uh, half, tw half past 12, let's wait until 5 o'clock until I eat again, rather than just snacking. Because actually getting, um, getting hungry is making me appreciate food more, and it's making me save on some extra calories. Because I'm not snacking and then eating a meal. Which I'm sure some of you just do not care about and you're like, hey, just play hush. Shut up about your diet. But something you'll come to learn about this this here boy. This here turtly fella. I tend to talk shit a lot. To be fair, though. To be fair, though. There is people... I don't really get any complaints in my comment section, but there is people that do complain about this stuff. I'll stop watching because of this stuff. But realistically... Who's out there watching, like, Isaac full video, like, full-length videos and not expect- and expecting every word out of the commentator's mouth to be about Isaac? Like, who- who are you? <laughs> Remember, there is item rooms and shops on these floors now. Do we want to search for them is the question. I probably should, but at the same time, like, it's a lot of time. Good, got him, and minion HP up. We're getting a lot of minion HP ups. Ooh, I'm just going to go and crush the boss with this High Priestess, because we got it. Literally crush. We got White Pony there. We do get a big luck increase there, but I don't think we need it. Um. Ooh, this is tricky. I think I'm going to reroll and see what I get. Is that a theme? Hmm, I'll take a theme. And then, of course, now that I have a theme, I will take perfection. Right, I will go back a little bit and do a few more rooms. I have a, a like a, an explosive Bernie that's also my friend now. Not exactly sure when he decided to join the crew, but he's here. I, 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 he's just kind of like, oh, the enemies are following that guy. I'll join in. <laughs> oh, we got... I'm so glad we did this. We got Milkshake. Random 1.1 to 1.5 multiplier to all stats. So let's see what we get. 1.2 pretty much across the board. Not bad at all. Decent stats. We finally got some speed. Not a lot, but it's some. It's better than nothing. I do like myself some Milkshake here. Fly up once again, baby. Here's our shop. Oh no, wait, what? That, wait, wait, that was our shop? That's just a scam. That's just a scam. Right, the theme's helping us out a ton here as well. We got a blue sacrifice room? Will that have an item in it? It will not. That is upsetting. This has an item in it though, we like that. Minion and intensity up. Still don't really know what the intensity does, but... Oh, whoa! Is this a blue room without an item? What the hell just happened? That was bizarre. I don't think I've ever seen that in my life. Right, anyways. We can get gone from this floor now, I think. We've seen pretty much everything there is to see. There's probably a few more hush rooms back there, but... I'm good to just go. We've managed to get some pretty good items amongst all the hush items here. But the hush items have really been the true carrying factor. Uh, wrapped candy. Damage... Uh, ooh! 0 0.01 speed every 15 seconds. Okay, do you know? It's not a lot. It's not a lot. And it's probably better if you get it early. But that's... That's something. On a run where we're spending a lot of extra time. Also, we prevented a curse and got some extra stuff there. Lovely. Minion HP up. I'm sorry, fellas. I bombed you. Rotten Tomato. Not bad, not bad. 
Oh, dude, a fame is so good with high luck. It's absolutely insane. Insane. A fame. Go, my army, go. Okay, I saw a blue room over here. And another blue room right off the bat of it. Missed that item back there. Fly up times two. Yes, please. Gaper up so my gapers can shoot. Oh, oh my god. This is amazing. I'll briefly look for my shop here, but I'm not going to go to the ends of the earth looking for it. So, one thing I'm curious about, and I'm not, I've not really been watching, but all these different effects that I'm getting on my gapers, are these gapers each, like, so it can spawn a gaper that can fly, and that's it, or can it spawn a gaper that can fly, and it can fart, and it can be fire, and it can shoot, like, can it, can it be all of them, or is it each gaper can be one of those things, and it has, just has the chance of it being one of those things? I'm not entirely sure, but I'm interested. I'm interested to see. I'll try and watch out for it, but it's a little hard to sort of keep an eye on things. Oh, beautiful stuff. I knew the same would be your undoing. Um, ooh, baby. Beautiful stuff. Both of those were very good. Um, up we go. And I don't know how this works, but error room? <gasps> oh wait, no, don't don't be like this. Don't be like this. Okay, there you go. I, I can get it. Good. Um, randomly, uh, three out of three stats are up and stats down. I'll give it a gamble. Why not? I got speed up. I don't care about anything else. Okay, cool. Just skip that floor, because why not? <laughs> Plus five bombs, heals half a heart when enemies hit by a bomb explosion. Ooh, nice. And that's more speed! We're finally able- Oh, and we got Midas Touch plus fucking Nord Leaf just in case. This run has, uh, this this run has become me being overpowered at the end here. My my friends are still here and powerful, but I'm the true superpower now. I'm getting double chests at the end of these rooms. My goodness, dude! The fact that killing those guys can trigger a theme is kind of wild. Bit of lead pencil, dude. Yeah, I've become so strong at the end of this. Gotta remember as well, look at all the extra Lemmageddon wisps that I've got for all the additional items here. From uh, Ceiling with the Stars. I've managed to keep all of them alive somehow. I think it's just because my minions are dealing with everything. I've not had to get involved, really. They've just taken care of stuff for me. Just hope we can make it to the boss reasonably quickly here. There you go. Straight to the boss. But beautiful. That was a nice showcase of Hushy. I'm ending the video off now because I know that Blue Baby is going to have a sorry time here. My minions are doing a beautiful, beautiful job. Oh, come on. He's slow. He's like, he's like asleep in his transition phase. Ooh, a theme on there, yeah. When he kills my but my my friends, they trigger a theme. And with this much luck, they're always triggering it, so he just kind of earns himself if he kills my minions. Not the smartest of ideas, my buddy. There you go, baby. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A very fun look at Hush. Really cool character. I will definitely play it again. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.